trouble kicking off here. There's a, a restaurant called The Boat House. There's a big boycott, a big campaign about them illegally firing members of staff. This is all about why are you boycotting the boat. We house? are working for the boat house yep. and we fight for our rights. The guy okay. has the license, he broke the law, the law in different ways. Like uh, we know, he knows that we suffer sexual harassment, he never do anything. He's still our there, he doesn't play overtime. Alana, Alana complains. We have the only way to do pressure and pay attention. Thank you, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'll you. take it. It's disgusting. The most ironic thing about all of this is that I actually wanted to get something to eat, so I was going there to have some food. But I think I'd better not go in now. I'll look for somewhere else. Still hungry. Maybe I can get some food here. I got some food from a food stand instead. Chicken over rice handed a uh, leaflet here about this place, the Boat House. The Boat House gets a seat for critters. Basically it says here that the guy's name is Dean, what is it? Dean Paul. He's the owner of the Boat House. It says the, uh, the place has live mice, filthy fireflies throughout, dirty prep surfaces and contamination of food. Hot and cold items were kept at incorrect temperatures. The plumbing system didn't work, leading to a sewage backup on the kitchen floor. This tells you more about the guy. It says he's abused, he's used city property to cheat taxpayers, abuse workers and break the law. He's illegally fired 15 waiters and waitresses. He's intimidated, threatened and spied on employees. And he's seven workers have filed sexual harassment complaints with federal authorities. So this is a bad guy, his name's Dean Paul at the boathouse in well, I've decided I want to find a little bit more about this Dean Paul guy and the situation at the boathouse restaurant. So I'm gonna go over there now and speak to a few people. Chrissy here is gonna tell us a little bit more about the situation. Chrissy, I want to know about uh, this leaflet that I've read. It basically lists uh, a lot of fi details of financial irregularities by Dean Paul, the owner of the boathouse. Could you give me a couple of examples, please? Sure. Um, one, there were over uh, 3.4, I believe, million dollars in gratuities stolen. So gratuities are tips. Gratuities are tips, yes, um, right. from banquet servers. So basically what the gratuity is, is um, for large parties, there's, I think it's 15%. 11.5% um, already included, which that actually comes out to a lot when you're paying, you know, when you have a large party, a banquet function. Um, that money was basically, ne the, the employees never saw that money. So that, that sh should have been money that the uh, the customer paid a, yes, tip, that, a tip to right. the, the staff. That's yeah. what the customer's assumption was, gratuity But the management you know, tip. didn't give it to the No, they did not. Staff. Also, um, they're being audited for a second time um, by the city for stealing money, basically like tax fraud. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how to say that. Allegedly. Oh, God! This, okay, um... <laughs> And that's about it. <laughs> okay, so there's some things you can't talk about. Well, no, yeah, it's just like... What did you tell me? If you use the word allegedly, you can say anything you want. <laughs> that's pretty much true. Okay, but so... You can say, look, they, they, you know, they took $3 million in grant gratuities and none of it went to the workers. And that, uh, you know, by law, it should have gone to the workers. Yeah. And because they, they took that in, they didn't give it to the workers. Uh, they, when they reported that to the city, Know, that money was excluded from their, their revenues. Basically. Right. So it, it sh that money should have gone to the city. So they were stealing from the, the workers and from the city at the same time by doing that. Okay, so yeah, the boathouse 
has had a lot of uh, a lot of dis there's been a lot of dis disrepute here. There's a lot of bad things have happened. Yeah, I mean you can also look online. It's been all over the news. As What's well. the website? Um, well, we have a couple websites that are actually listed in here. Um, one of them is boycottheboathouse.com. Also, Dean okay, boycott the boathouse.com. Yes. Also, Dean Paul. Deanpoll.com. D E A N P O L L.com. Yes. And those websites actually have links to a lot of the other news articles. It was in the New York Times, Dealing News. I mean, it's been all over. Um, it, Pix11 covered it. Like a lot of the local uh, TV stations and national. Um, yeah. So you can you can go there and like check the references with that. Also, um, we have a lot of politicians on our side too, which is great. We're yeah. definitely we're definitely making leeway. I think. Does the uh, does the mayor know about it, Mr. Bloomberg? The mayor knows about it. Um, he I'm not sure exactly like what his stand on it is. I know that he he doesn't he he's in the process of like I think negotiating. I'm not really sure exactly. Okay. So, yeah, everyone, look at those websites. Go online, look at those websites. Uh, Boycottheboathouse.com and deanwall.com. See what's on it, get some more information. Uh, look at the links to magazines and newspapers. And don't ever eat in the boathouse. Don't do it. Don't do don't it. Don't use the bikes or the boats and don't eat there because you know what? Half the staff is outside on the picket line, so <laughs> the people cooking your food have only been there for a couple weeks, if that. So it's not going to be worth it. Okay, thank you, Chrissy. Thank, thank, you. thank you. I want you to tell me about, about the uh, sexual harassment allegations. There were a couple cases that actually occurred in the dining room of actually um, management like touching girls, but the most prominent, um, I would say, were um, the management would call females at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, asking them to come out with them. Some of these women were married, some of these women were pregnant. Asking yeah. them to come out with them. So the, when you say management, are you referring to Dean Paul or Not other people? Not Dean Paul, Dean Paul's management team. Uh -huh. Dean knew about this, we confronted him about this. And he, what did he do? Basically he said, if you don't like it, like, just get another job or get over it. He right. refused to fire um, the manager who was doing this. He called, he, like the manager was calling people two, three o'clock in the morning trying to get them to go out with them, trying to get them to sleep with them, yep. with him. Um, they were taking pictures of like naked men, naked women, like genitals, showing them to the servers. Just why? For a joke? I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly, but um, and then when the, when the woman wouldn't sleep with them or date them, they would cut their hours down and they would basically give all of the good shifts to the women who did. Right. There were actually a few that, that did. Um, yeah, and then there were actual cases of like, you know, groping, touching, stuff like that um, from one of the other girls who doesn't work there anymore. Okay. But she actually flew in from Florida the first week we were out here to support us. Just to support us, she yep. came all the way from Florida. Yep. So obviously everyone, this is something everyone feels really strongly about. Oh yeah, I mean we wouldn't be out here if we didn't, like, it's yeah. not easy <laughs> to be doing this. I mean, so it's you, not fun. So presume everyone that's striking isn't receiving their salary, presumably. Nobody's getting paid. No, I mean, some people are on unemployment, some people are working other jobs, but like, mm. so the we're people, not getting paid a, bo a boathouse so paycheck. all these people are ex-employees that are striking here um, today. Um, some of them, some of them technically still work there. Basically, 60 to 70 workers walked out. Yeah. So technically they are still employed, but they're, they're not, you know, they're not working, they're not making money, they're not getting paychecks. Yeah. And then the other, there were 37 people that were illegally fired. I'm one of those people that was illegally fired. Mm -hmm. um, what reason did they give you for your dismissal? Basically, what happened with me is I, one morning I was sick. Um, the only morning I was ever sick. I was never late. And I called. And you can never get in touch with anyone. Like, you can never get in touch with me. And call and, and call unless and call. it's 2 a.m. and they're phoning you. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, so I called. I left a message saying, listen, I'm really sick. I had I got someone to pick up my shift for me. I went above and beyond, got someone to work for me. And um, I said, you know, I'm checking in. I'm really sick. You know, call me if there's an issue. I just wanted to let you know what's going on. And then they dismissed you. And then, well, I had the next two days off. I never heard anything back from them. Clearly, if they would have called me and said, listen, get your ass in here, you know, I would have been there. Mm -hmm. 
never heard anything from them. I went into work three days later, did all my side work, set the whole place up, and then they took me aside and said, we have to let you go, um, you're not allowed to switch shifts, you have to give us uh, notice if you um, are sick, or no, if you want to switch your shifts, you have to give us notice, and I said I was sick, I didn't know I was going to be sick. They said, well, you know, you're taking the power away from us and into your own hands. That's a direct quote. Yep. Basically because I switched my shift and they, you know, without getting in touch with them. And they said, you were a no call, no show. And I said, well, I called like three times and left you a detailed message and I never heard back from you. You know, I thought I was doing the right thing by getting someone to replace me. And they just said, we can't have you taking the power into your own hands. Okay. I had never had a warning, never had a write-up, never was late, never called in sick before. So, yeah. I mean... That's bad. Yeah. So did, did he say there was a girl here who has a first-hand account of some sexual harassment? Oh, yeah, Alejandra! Alejandra, her yeah. name is. Let's speak to Alejandra. The girl in the blue t-shirt. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Alejandra. Hi Alejandra. He wants to talk to you about um, sexual harassment. Could you tell me what cases of sexual harassment you personally experienced, please? Yeah, uh, my manager used to offer to go to the bed with him so he can give me very condition of job. But he was hours. he offered to if you slept with him he'd yeah, give you better working him, conditions. Yeah. If I live, sleep with him. And what did you say and to him? I refused and he started to, uh, to cut down my shifts to give me less hours of job and what make was, my job miserable. What was the guy's name? Harold Loyal. Ha who? Harold Loyal. Harold he, Loyal? Yeah, he's a Metroid in the banquet, sir, uh, banquet side. Harold Lloyd, okay. Yes. So Harold Lloyd has been named and shamed here today. Yes. Has been guilty of sexual harassment in yes, the boat sir. house. And how about Dean Paul? Did he sexually harass anybody? He didn't, but he allowed his managers to do that. He turned a blind eye, did yeah, nothing. Yeah, he tried to, yeah. oh, nothing is going on here. We tried to talk to him about safe, and he, he told us, call the police. I can't do anything about that. Okay, thank you very much You're for your welcome. time. So girls, have you have you been to on the boats out there? No. Are you are you gonna go? Are you going to go? Don't do it, guys. I know you don't want this on your conscience. I know you don't want that. I know you want to be able to think back on this time in Central Park and not think, oh yeah, that's the day I went in and then hurt people that were working there. You don't want to be able to think that. You want to think, yeah, you know, I did the right thing. Well done, Thank girls. I think you made the right decision. You. Well done. You. But nobody leaves empty handed. You can have a flyer as well. The reason that lady was angry is because the uh, this boat out place also rents out boats. There's a reason we're out here. So the people who are on strike here, uh, campaigning outside the restaurant, also don't want anyone to rent boats on the lake, which are owned by the boathouse. The boat might sink. What if it was your daughter who got sexually harassed? Would you cross the picket line then? I don't think so. Think about it. So how long have you been here for? How many days has this been going on? About a, a, a month already. Yeah, a month. A month, okay. Yeah. And uh, are you going to be here every day? Every day, every night. Every okay. time when it's decided to close. And when are you only going to stop when uh, the boat house is closed down? Oh, the closed down was signing the contract as a good day. I will draw your bus back to work. So you, ideally you want the manager, the owner of the boat house out, you want a new manager in and you want yes, your that's correct, the yeah. employees to get their jobs back? Yes, sir. Yes, that's okay. Correct. Well, good luck with your campaign. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Come out of the vegan at the boat house. Excuse me, did you eat at the boathouse? It was delicious. It was, what do you think about these people that say that I you shouldn't go there? Be
guy Dean Wall isn't very popular around these parts. Excuse me, did, uh, did Dean Wall do that to your leg? <laughs> no, no. It, it wasn't him? No, it wasn't him. This is my own food. Hope he negotiates a contract and sue him. And so, stops maltreating his workers. Okay, and is, is really, is it true that the kitchens are dirty in there? The That's food's what, not safe? I haven't been in the kitchens. The New York City Department of Health yeah. says that they're filthy. Okay, so if you had a, a message for Dean Paul, what would it be? Clean up your act. Okay, thank you very much. How was the food? What did he have to eat? Happening over there. Hey. What did he eat? The line going on because management illegally fired people. Did you stop and talk to anyone who was out here? Anyone who tried to stop me when you went in? Great restaurant, though. Very cool. What did he eat? But you don't care about Excuse me, sir. People. What did he have to eat? So you have a full stomach but an empty heart. No conscience. Full stomach but an empty heart. Yep, that's him. What do you think about people who are still going into the boathouse? I think that they need to get some respect for workers. Yep. Stop going. Are you going to the boathouse? Your dinner's more important than other people's work ethic, their lives? That's crazy. Yes. Shame on you, sir. He said yes. Shame on you. Shame on him. Excuse me, madam. How was your food at the boathouse? Was it nice? Excuse me guys, how was the food at the boathouse? What did he have? The bathrooms were great. Make this your last visit ever to the boathouse. Okay, so I'm standing here with Diego. Diego was fired from the boathouse recently. Diego, can you explain why you were fired? I, I was fired because I was a union supporter when Anthony Walton and, and uh, the sous chef, uh, uh, I get nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous, it's okay. The, when uh, Russell found out that uh, I was a union supporter, the next day they fired me with no explanation. So you were fired just for being a member of the union? Yes. That was. They that you what reason did they give you? They told me it was slow season, but uh, they were lying. They never called me when the busy season started. So who was it that told me you were fired? Anthony was the head of the board. Yes. And uh, if you had Dean Paul came out here now, the order. To give us what we ask you for, the, our rights, health benefits, uh, security in our job, and respect from all the managers. Uh, there's no reason for him to to be mad at us or so greedy. Uh, and uh, if he give us whatever we are asking, we're gonna make this place a lot better. What do you ask? We're asking for, for your health insurance, uh, we're asking for respect from managers, better better wages, and, uh, and security in our jobs. Well, good luck. I hope you uh, yeah, find a new job soon or you get your job. Thank you. All the best. Thank you, Jake. Thank you very much. Do you work at the boathouse? Sorry, do you work here at the boathouse? What's your job? Are you, you're not Dean Wall, are you? The best boat I had all my life. Okay. How's the food? How uh, you go on strike? You don't care about the other workers? Arturo wants the union. See, Arturo told us he wants the union, but he wants his co-workers to fight so he can have all the benefits because he's too much of a coward to go fight for them. He said, you said to my face, well, are you going to lie now? You said to my face, I want the union. You said that to me multiple times. I don't want the union. Now in your body you can be lying. So you're a coward and a liar. That's good. I remember that. Right now you lie. Did you eat in the boathouse? No. I'm afraid not. Okay, good. Pardon? Are people striking against the Yeah, if you read this, this is the story I was talking about before. Okay. You have a look, it's a guy called Dean Wall, who's the uh, the owner. He has a contract for the boathouse. 
and uh, he's been accused of a lot of serious offences. And these are people who are striking employees that want him removed from his position. Yes, we have matters. Yeah, these two people are going in. Don't go into the boathouse. Tell you what's happening. Come back. You guys have matching outfits on. There's other places to eat in New York. You might get food poisoning. So what do you think? Hey, Are you going to eat in the boathouse now? No way. Good, no me way. too. No way, no way. <laughs> so that's the situation here at the boathouse restaurant in Central Park in New York. There's a lot of angry people, people here, angry about their treatment by management general level of respect given to them by management, their working conditions and the treatment of their colleagues and co-workers. Until these things are rectified, the situation will remain the same. We will come here every day campaigning and asking for members of the public to boycott the Boathouse restaurant.